that's why. Not so appealing to look at, but. Morning, Holly. There we are, we coming. Ah, you bad Good morning, just having a red up of all the chaff that's lying out here. Voila, well, tidy all this up. That's the concrete pad again, working wonders. Scoop it all up, job done. I've just cleaned that all in here. Every so often we'll just clean this up, rewrite this area, clean it off, start afresh. It's all going into this trailer, which we can't get to at the moment from the side, so we'll pull it forward a bit. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Whoa, up. There is a mirror there, you can see at the back, but the, the window's quite dirty. The only thing we're missing is like, not there, but a wee wall to push all this against. So you can pick it up with a bucket. I guess it gives us a bit of exercise to do with a shovel. There we go. Nice clean yard. Quad bike's just going round to Rattray, ATV, and the front brakes are seizing a wee bit on it, so just nip it around, get it sorted out, because we need to put some slug pellets on some oilseed rate. I'm going to go and shift, there's a load of barley in there, then go for some wood chips. The hopper for the biomass boiler is running low, so get a load while it's a rainy day and we're not combining. I'm just, I'm just trying to reverse out the shed door and I've made a total pig's ear of it twice in a row. It's not even a Monday. There we go, third time lucky. Right, we're here for tree carcass. It's quite drizzly, so I'm just leaving the bed up till they're here to load me. Let any water that's in the trailer drain out and drip away. Get it loaded, I'll get the sheet on this one. This trailer's got a sheet, so I'll put the sheet over it. Sheet's not been used in a while, so the rope's on the wrong side. So untie this, throw it all the way over, so that when I'm done, I can pull the sheet over the other side. There we go, I've strung that over, tied it down. So I'll fill this trailer up, then that sheet will get rolled over the top. It's actually stopped raining here, but on the way back home, it was lashing it down. Here we go, we've got a machine arrived. That's their new bobcat. One more bucket up that end. I'll give it a wee squash and we'll get the cover over. Last wee dribble. Chips in, sheets on, off to the Weybridge, see how much we've got on. We'll probably be, I don't think we'll be in the fives, so I'll call it, I'll go for 4850. Needing a ton bag of logs, that's where to get them. 4,500 kilo of wood chip, 22% moisture, spot on. Wood chip collected, the hopper's almost completely empty, so we'll get all of that in. So this wood chip here, chuck it into the hopper, it then goes through a, an auger which draws it into a wood chip boiler, which basically burns the wood chip. It's got a furnace and that energy is used to heat water, which is used to produce heating for the farm shop or water for the farm shop. It's also connected to the farmhouse and the office here and things like that. And it gets tweaked in this hopper. You can see uh, where we've hit the roof with the forklift over the years. Last of the barley is coming off now. And then we'll get that shifted into the big shed and that's all the seed barley done and dusted. We've got one more field of malt and barley, then we're on to wheat. We've got quite a lot of wheat to cut and then we've got some oats to cut as well. And then we're done. Just off the phone with the vet, so cows are getting scanned tomorrow. Wood chip all cleared up. Just loaded that trailer with barley. There's a few more loads to go. Harbro mixer wagons here. So um, it's to mix up hen feed for the hens. Normally we keep the soya and the wheat all in the one shed, but that shed's full of barley right now, so there's no space. Here we are. He's got a big hoover basically that sucks it all up. Get rid of this wheat. Grab a bit more soya. 
soya for batch two. This is a protein source for the hens. Really dense stuff. I'll leave that there. He's away down there with a the lorry. Fill up that hopper and that hopper. Six ton per hopper. We need to collect gates, all the gates we've got. So here's a few. For the cows at yard number two, we need to get them all in to scan them and we need gates along there. Right, these are going to yard two. It's empty now, but once I put this bale in, they're gonna come charging up the hill. Just give it a second. And they have arrived. Any movement up this end and they come charging from the bottom of the hill. The gates that are all up here on this trail, I need to get them off, set them up, set a pen up here so that in the morning we can get these cows in. No issues, no issues. Touch wood. You having a scratch, pal? Yeah. Good scratch. Hey. I'm about to show you why the barley that we feed the cattle gets bruised, i.e. it gets split open and broken down. That's why, not so appealing to look at, but you can see the barley through it, the whole pieces of barley. So there must have been a bit of barley in the last batch that we gave them that wasn't bruised, and um, whether there was a pailful kicking about or something. But you can see this cattle beast is obviously eating it and they cannot break it down if it's not broken apart. And um, their digestive system can't break through the husks of the barley. And it means the nutrition that's in that barley, they can't then use that in their own system. They can't break it down and absorb the nutrition. It goes in one end and straight out the other end. Go, 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 get the gate shut before you bandits escape. It's night and day dealing with these cattle now that that wild one's gone. I don't want to speak too soon, obviously. We've got to deal with them in the morning, but they are a lot more biddable. They're not getting trailed off by that wild one. There was one in there that came with the wild one and it was fairly twitchy when the wild one was here but it settled right down best decision ever to get rid of it worst decision ever to buy it in the first place right that's set up for the morning and hopefully the cows will just trundle in once i put a bit of feed down pea viners on the go they're not at peas they're at beans but i know nothing about them do they use a different header on the front when they're at beans no idea someone will know put it down below there's another one there's number three Anyway, cut to scanning cows first thing in the morning. Poor start. A shambles of a start. The issue, unfortunately, is the big man, Percy. 